here with Robert Reeves and a bunch of ladies, and they're they're trying to explain to me why Robert's got white gloves on. Okay, and and hopefully what you don't think, Gene, is that these are stylish gloves that are meant to match the suit. Well, these are for for all of us that were over there throwing chicken. You were throwing chicken? Yes, the chicken's frozen. And so if you don't have this on your hands, you'll feel like you're tough for about two or three chickens. Around chicken number five, you're gonna realize that you're not being tough, you're not being smart. And you're and asking so, for some gloves. When I saw all my officers over there with these gloves on, Got my gloves on, and we threw a bunch of chicken. Got rid of a whole. Now, box. when you say throwing chickens, I mean, what exactly are you doing when you're throwing chickens? You're grabbing it out of the box. You're throwing it over here to the guys that are loading it in the boxes, and so you just one big assembly line. All right. And how many chickens? Because they're 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 doing five thousand boxes today. I did not do five thousand boxes. Okay. <laughs> the lady, the ladies are laughing because they're going, yeah. We don't think anybody can do five thousand boxes. Now, was this lady here? She's the the training person here for the. Monterre. Was she keeping an eye on you that you were safe? No, no, she didn't need to because she knows I'm out here all the time, so she knows I'm going to stay safe. Now, listen, this guy, sure classmates. Right. Classmates. 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 We know how to do this stuff. 88. 88. 88. 88. Who's, who's age better? She's hey. aged much better. Because you thought though. I was class of 78, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not touching that question. I need you to understand one thing because right. I'm the chaplain. Like right I've laid one hands one on one every one, one of them. Have you? So they are protected and covered. They're going to come here and leave here better than when they can. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What does that Wait a minute. You say that you your your purpose is to make sure that people that come in with the number of fingers they have leave with the number of fingers they have. Correct. Show me your fingers. I got all my fingers. What are you talking about? <laughs> got all five. All right. Now, wait a minute. When you're putting the hands on him, does that mean he's going to get to keep all his fingers? That means he's going to keep every one of his fingers. All right. He's also put a little protection on me for Monday, too. When See I what I'm saying? That's Monday. right. Now, I got a question. What's the best sermon you ever done? The best sermon the best is one. the one that I live. I live my sermon every day. All right. So all if right. you see me walking... I'm preaching right there. All right. And our, what, what do you do on sick days? Sick days? What? Sick days? There are no sick days. You still just preach. Walk and keep going forward. All right. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's, what's your favorite biblical f phrase? Favorite? There are no favorites. But here's what I love. You don't like John 3.16? That's all right. That's, That's a good okay. One. That's okay. That's a good one. But what I like is Philippians 4 and 3. I can do all things. Through Christ that gives me the strength. Oh, Satan. So you do have a favorite. No, no, no. That's just one. That's just All one. All of them give, are my favorite. Give, give, me, give me another one. All of them are my favorite. Oh, my goodness. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Oh, my gosh. This, I may not have enough video space left if we start at, at the beginning. In, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. And the Word was with God. All right, that's John. That's John. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't now, know we were going to start. Can, can I say here, a hallelujah? Glory to God. Hallelujah. This man right here, he's the one. Well, what about him? <laughs> he's the one. This come is over. Come over here. Listen, again, let me tell you, this is. Let me Pastor. see all your fingers first before you start. Oh, he's got all right, he's got all his fingers. This is, this is Pastor J.R. Tell him your real name. So, my real name is Clark F. LaPearl Jr. Mm -hmm. So I go by Reverend LaPearl or J.R. LaPearl, mm -hmm. Director of Mount Air Cares. For yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So. so, he oversees all of this business and Does all he? of this care. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and what's your favorite biblical? So, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. All right. I know the, plan the plans I have for, for you. Uh -huh. Not to harm me, but to prosper, prosper me and give me hope and a future. In a future. Right. Yes, And indeed. I trust in that. Mm. There you All go. the time. I got a question. Do you know every darn... Can I say darn? I think I can. <laughs> yes, I, I, I haven't been struck. I haven't been struck. I haven't been struck. I haven't been struck, I haven't been struck by lightning. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, my God! I'm not. I'm with a bunch of holy rollers here. Uh, do you know? Do you have? Mem yeah. uh, you like yeah. to? What was that movie? Uh, book was it? Book of Eli? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, are you, do you know every single phrase? Every single. 
Not quite. Not quite. But that man was amazing. He was. He laid down and started quoting the entire book of the Bible. The book of Eli. It's an amazing movie. It is. A, it is amazing. Now, how would you get into preaching? Oh, my goodness. Call. The Lord called me to preach. All right. And from that call, he told me, go forward. And I've not stopped since. And how long have you been preaching for? Oh, my goodness. Can I say forever? You can say forever. All right. Forever. He called me when I was 17. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so from then on, everything I did was in preparation. Oh, for spreading the gospel. There you go. And, and we're, we're having a hug fest over here. I love it. I love it. Let's hug everybody. <laughs> there you go. Well, look, you all got a little bit of Bible this morning. Amen. 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 There you go. Right here at Montaire. So. We have another preacher. Oh, that's right. Cecil. I already talked to Cecil. I've, I, I heard Cecil that. preach at church. <laughs> and it, he he's a good preacher. I am the minister that shows up at the end to collect the funds. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> can you take your hat off and so we can pass it around, please? No. I can bring my plate. Well, I was going to say, isn't it appropriate that this every, is... Every venue should furnish it, its own offering plate. There you go. this one did not, we we'll just have to use a plate. <laughs> there you go. Hey, actually, I got a question for you. Since we're talking about the Bible and church and God, isn't it appropriate that this is being done for Easter? It is so appropriate. Easter is one of the most amazing holidays for the Christian because it was what happened on Calvary, on Golgotha Hill, that allowed us the free pardon and gift of salvation. We thank God every day for Easter. There you go. And today they're packing 5,000 boxes. So it's going to be going out there.